Hello folks, this is Time with Crypto. It's uh, Monday, December the 11th, 2017. I just wanted to uh, make a video to talk about uh, Exabot. As you know, Exabot uh, stopped working uh, last week. Um, so there it was a big... Um, there were, it was big news in the cryptocurrency uh, world, in the WIP world. Uh, Exabot basically uh, quitting the scene, or at least uh, that's what it looks like. So I was just uh, looking around and uh, I came across the, this uh, website, uh, it's uh, exabotreview.com. Uh, I invite you to check it out. And basically uh, it explains what happened uh, in detail uh, for be right before, just before the site went down. Um, it's a long text, so I'm just gonna go uh, give you an overview. Uh, so it starts here saying that, uh, so Peter Shepard, which is the owner of the site, came out today to make a public announcement about what happened with Xbot in our unofficial Telegram supergroup. So this happened on the December the 6th, so last week then. Uh, so this is what happens here. Uh, Exabot support, I'm really sorry for that. Uh, Bitcoin Core didn't restore and wallet data file is just broken with over 3000 BTC. Uh, if I'm able to solve this. Uh, so someone on the group asked, uh, is this Pete or Jerry? I hope this can be fixed, really do want to believe in this. Uh, and then Exabot support, so yeah, LTC and Dash are fine, and it's Peter, so it was Peter on the line here. So he is the developer, Bitcoin Core is the problem. So at that point, uh, so uh, uh, Litecoin and Dash, they were, wallets were fine, so they were not affected. Um, uh, so what happened? So uh, Peter says wallet dot, uh, that is just broken. Um, and basically explains here someone HTTP flooded the withdrawal URL from different accounts and caused lots of double spends and double transactions. Uh, I can't promise anything about the wallet dot that I've been stressing. Uh, so if that if uh, if they didn't have a backup of that uh, wallet, then uh, it's not a good sign. Um, I didn't want them to do the same with uh, Litecoin and Dash. Um, so basically, so what really happened on December the 4th? Shortly after Exabot's swing bot paid out on Monday, December 4, Exabot became a target of a layer 7 distributed denial of service, DDoS, HTTP flood attack. So this attack caused bitcoins to become stolen both intentionally and accidentally from Exabot wallets. Triggered a glitch where all users received 6 to 11 free bitcoins in their withdrawal wallet and eventually forced the site and its community chat to be taken off indefinitely. indefinitely. Um, so there's a link here that explains what this layer seven distributed denial of service DDoS attack is. Uh, so I'm not gonna read through it, so you can go in there and check it out yourself. Um, at, Peter, for, at first, Peter and the user community had no idea Exabot ha was hacked. Users first complained about Bitcoin withdrawals not working properly, and Peter thought it was a server or a software glitch, so he attempted to pause the site and reboot Bitcoin Core. So uh, for those of you that were around at that time, you would have noticed that there was a message that the site was down and would come back soon. And that's what happened. So he came back, and that's when then people realized they had the 11 Bitcoin balance uh, in their account. I did. I was all excited about it. Uh, but the withdrawal requests kept on coming even after rebooting the system. It's been five seconds since it's online again and over 100 people are trying to withdraw, said Peter in the community chat. Peter most likely soon realized that Exabok was the target of an intentional DDoS uh, flood attack. So in layman terms, so what this attack is, someone attempted to hack Exabot by flooding the Bitcoin withdrawal URL with multiple simultaneous requests from multiple accounts and caused Exabot to pay out double, triple, or even quadruple transactions to the withdrawer when he was only supposed to pay out the amount once. Uh, replicated transactions were confirmed by multiple credible members of the unofficial Exabot community. So people who got paid, you know, double, triple, or quadruple the amount that they requested to withdraw. Uh, so this Dream USA, so a user, uh, it's overloaded the daemon. I'm positive that it actually did happen. The website sent me double my withdrawal in two different transactions. I didn't register the transactions on the website database. His code wasn't good at error conditioning. 
another post here uh, sent me four of the same amount of transactions at the same time even though I didn't request this I only requested one transaction instead of four so lucky for those folks they got uh, basically they got their money twice thrice or even four times so while the unknown hacker was most likely to run away with an unknown amount of bitcoins most exabots bitcoin wallets remain safe and untouched thanks to the quick reaction from peter to pull the plug to disable uh, bitcoin withdrawals uh, so it says here that uh, most of the accounts are untouched the problem then now is access the the uh, the wallet and that's the big issue here the while known bitcoins were not affected by the hacked uh, so peter also disabled the withdrawals from litecoins and dash as a prevent a message measure uh, now when users try to withdraw they will see a red pop-up that says error you don't have any active deposits that's exactly what happened um, and then to complicate matters existing users began to see a glitch where they have magically received over 11 bitcoins in their withdrawal wallets uh, new users were reporting six bitcoins of course these coins could not be withdrawn uh, so basically the glitch most likely resolved from a broken or corrupted wallet database so the aftermath so as the dust settled in the hours and days after the site stopped working the fad and conspiracy theories spread like a plague among exabot users uh, <laughs> this is sad some even contemplated suicide sheesh or how it was the end of the world the unofficial exabot community ballooned to over 1200 members as exabot users from across the globe demanded answers and their crypto funds back or simply wanted a place to cry their tears of sadness uh, of course many users uh, you know attacked uh, peter for being a brilliant exit scam artist uh, and others some relied to collect funds to start a class action lawsuit some even call for individuals in the dark web to dox and or cause physical harm to peter and his affiliates oh dear um despite the fud many others especially the whales those who invested over a thousand dollars or more stay calm and silently held their faith in peter because there were still no official evidence that the the exit scam occurred and many of peter's actions in the past did not show any red flags uh the reason that something legitimately legitimately happened to the site as peter was actually actively uh, trying to fix things and stop people from panicking before the site went down so this goes on and on um then there's another uh text here hi exabot will last for a long time we have grown in our community and gained many users who already made profit and keep being loyal with us uh so then here um how long will exabot be offline so a side effect to pulling the plug most resulted in the exabot wallet database to be broken or corrupted it reported uh, bitcoin core didn't restore and wallet data fa file is just broken with over 3000 bitcoin so the wallet dot that is just broken ltc and dash are fine so peter a one-man developer has to fix a broken database that governs over 3,000 bitcoin belonging to hundreds of thousands of users that's over 40 million us dollars he has to sort out to make sure users get the right amount back and account for the lost coins so peter took the site down today to prevent new signups and stressing and he's stressing to fix everything he has not announced an ata uh, when the fix will be done uh, but it most likely will take a while so in, in, in either way i think this is the end of exabot anyway uh, so the only hope here is that um, uh, peter will uh, this peter guy will bring the site up so people can actually take their money out or at least some of it uh, because otherwise but other than that as for the platform i think if the platform is dead i think the trust is broken uh, there is no communication I mean how hard could have been to just to create a Facebook page and put a note there all right folks I'm sorry we were act and we'll try to fix this we'll back we'll be back as soon as possible so something like that nothing so I think the trust the trust is broken uh, I don't believe this site will ever come back again uh, but if it does that's great and I hope I will be able to recover my money uh, because i did lose money in this platform i would didn't uh, didn't last long enough for me to recover my investment uh, so the site just goes on but that's all right so i invite you to go and read uh, all the whole story yourself and check it out i just wanted to uh, give you basically uh, the story of what happened uh, last week about exabot and then from there you can make your own judgment uh, if you do believe if it's coming back or not 
<laughs> leave a leave your opinion in the comment section. I love to I would love to read about it. See what you think about this. Is Exabot coming back? Let me know. Anyway, if you like my videos, please subscribe, press the like button, share the videos, and of course leave a comment, a concern, or questions in the comment section. I'll come. I'll get back to ya. That's all I have. Peace out.